I am having like in real time an epiphany on my life. Um, and I want to go on record talking it through with you guys. <music> So, as you guys know, I was on a TV show almost seven years ago. Oh, I'm not even gonna cry, because, but bear through the trauma. So I was on a TV show seven years ago. It absolutely changed my life in the most beautiful way, but it was such a whirlwind. I didn't get to process any of it. Like, bam, I'm on a TV show after I just, spent all these years chasing the Miss USA thing. I didn't get the Miss USA thing, but okay, boom, new opportunity. Let's let's go through this door. Go through this door. I end up meeting this man, falling in love with him on accident while also trying to fight for my life in a house full of strangers that I don't really like. Um, we get pregnant, we have a miscarriage. This man asked me to marry him and immediately afterwards, I don't think you guys understand what it's like to go to a press junket on a show where everybody's asking you if you miscarried, if you and this man that you just met a few months prior to, but also hadn't seen in 77 days, if you guys are, are like a thing, a couple, a married. I didn't even know that this man was my boyfriend still. And all of a sudden, like this man is my fiance and I'm engaged and people like, it's just, it was too freaking much to process. And then we had the freaking world on our back because we were the only two black people on the show. Everybody was like saying that my man was mooching off of my family because I come from a little bit of money and he grew up homeless or whatever the, the thing was, which at the time they didn't even know that. They were just being freaking judgmental, basically just saying like, he just wasn't good enough for me. So then he has a battery in his back because he's like, I'm gonna prove to the world that I'm a catch too and I wanna be able to take care of you. I wanna make your parents proud. I wanna make my parents proud, all this stuff. So then I, we go like we go on another show because we think that that's like the right answer. Then we move to LA because we wanna keep up with, you know, this opportunity. Like this only happens once in a lifetime. So we need to take advantage of all these things. Meanwhile, I didn't even recover from the trauma of all of it happening in the first place. Um, and then years and years and years have gone by and I still haven't looked up. Like everything just kept happening. Domino effect, one after the other. Okay, I go on a different show. Okay, we don't wanna do that anymore. Okay, I'm on, literally, y'all don't understand. Like I was in the freaking Big Brother house on All Stars when my husband became a millionaire almost overnight. Like we had hit, you know, a couple hundred K. Okay, cool, we're, we're moving up. We moved from, uh, a one bedroom to a two bedroom. I thought we were balling. Then we're like, okay, we want to move buildings because now we want to be more bougie. Then literally in between me being on a show and coming off, we moved to the biggest penthouse in downtown LA. And I'm just like, like the, the room was spinning. And then like, I went through this like crisis where I'm like, I have no friends, LA so lonely. I have been rejected from everything. Nobody thinks I'm pretty enough to model. Nobody thinks, you know, I'm smart enough for, like, I just had this like identity crisis where I'm like, great idea, let's make some children. And like, that literally was like, I was like, I need friends. I can't find them, let, let me make them. So I made my daughter from scratch in order to be my best friend. And that sounds like crazy, but that was my mindset going into it. I, my husband was busy working which I don't fault him for because he was working his butt off to provide for us and to do this big old thing. He just kept working. I was by myself and I was just like, Lord, send me something. Send me something for me. And now I'm gonna cry because then he sent me a Laura and that girl is for me. Like that is my girl. She is for me. That is my best friend. I know her and she's my twin, like which is so crazy. Like I know that like her and I are locked in and she healed. Oh, oh my God, what a what a sappy girl. So, but she healed a part of me that I needed to be healed. Then right after, I got bit by the bug again, and I was like, I need another child, put a baby in me. And he did. So then I got my son, who also is my pride and joy, and he's my mama's boy, and he's everything that I needed. But there has not been a pause in all of this. Dubai, Puerto Rico, back to LA. Like, I've just been doing more than, then I could even imagine humanly possible as, as humanly possible, but I'm, just, and I'm just, like, it's hard, I'm grateful, but I need to slow it down. Like I am just a girl from Missouri and I don't require much at all to live. I am like country, I don't like to wear shoes. I like just simple things. Like I have been managing 
multi-million dollar households for the past three to five years and people are like what are you complaining for this is a lot of work like this is a lot of work like I have and I like again I'm not complaining because I'm grateful but I'm saying I don't need all of this to be happy I tell my husband all the time babe I don't need all of this we're good babe I don't need all this and now he has gone to Dubai and he's setting up another you know business another stronghold there and i'm the one who's here with the multi-million dollar houses managing employees and landscapers and dealing with all these things in another language by the way like in another language this is not what i wanted um i will gladly handle this because that's what i'm for like i'm the wife i will make sure that you don't have to worry about a dang thing but this year moving forward i am scaling all of it back because one I want my kids to have a normal life. I am so grateful that we're fortunate, but kids are kids are young and they're impressionable and they don't need all of this. If anything, it kind of sets them up for failure. All the friends that I know that grew up really, really rich and there was like no structure or boundaries in their life, they all turned out kind of miserable. Not in a bad way, but just like when you're rich and directionless, it's terrible. You can have anything in the world, but what's your purpose? So I want to scale it back. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do, um, but it's, it's going to be nice, but it's going to be more humble than what we're dealing with right now. And for a while, I wasn't going to let myself do it because I was like, well, what will people think? Will people think that we just are not rich anymore? <laughs> like, like, oh God, what a, what a brat for saying that. But like, will people think that, oh, I don't know. I don't really, I really just don't give up. Uh, beep 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 what anybody thinks about it i want to be closer to my family i want to have a, a lot more time to do activities with my kids i don't want to have to worry about managing so much to where i'm so exhausted um and i want to be able to travel i want my kids to not live out of a suitcase anymore um and it, it really does trigger me because my husband since he didn't grow up homeless he moved 16 times in his childhood and for me, I know that is not something I want for my kids. He turned out fine. He's like, yeah, like everything's fine. But you did it because you didn't have a choice. We have a choice. So I'm not dragging my kids. Me and Chris have moved eight, nine times in the last six years of marriage. I'm not doing that to my children. So we're gonna have a home base. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna be normal. My kids are gonna grow up normally. And we can travel, we can have a house off the coast of Spain we can have a house in Dubai we can have a house wherever the heck we want but our home base wherever that is going to be is going to be calm and peaceful and wholesome and not super it might be bougie let's not go too far it might be bougie it's still gonna be nice but it's going to be a lot less overwhelming for me so yeah I, I just am gonna go on the record saying that because I've never really stopped and acknowledged that the fact that all these blessings have been amazing, but life change is still hard. I have been transitioning for the past six years. It's time to stop. It's time to take a step back and just focus on enjoying this part of my life. And that's why I love y'all, because y'all be listening to me. Nobody interrupted me. No, I just got through my thoughts. I love y'all, because y'all are <sighs> my people. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Love you.